In this video, we're going to practice finding the volume of pyramids, both rectangular and triangular. Now, a pyramid is um, named by the shape of the base. So when I look here at the left, I can see that this orange pyramid has a triangle-shaped base. So we would call that a triangular pyramid. And on the right, this base is in the shape of a rectangle. So that would be a rectangular pyramid. Now, there are also square pyramids, but those are usually indicated by the measurement showing that it's a square or the problem would tell you that. Another thing about pyramids that we have to remember is the height. The height of the pyramid is shown right here and we know that it's the height because it makes a 90 degree angle with the base. In order to find the volume of a pyramid, we're going to use the formula V equals one third big B times H, or we can say that the volume of a pyramid equals one third the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. Let's look at this example together. Find the volume of the rectangular pyramid. So we know that it's a rectangular pyramid. We wanna find volume, so we're gonna use our formula V equals one third the area of the base times the height. Now, the first thing I want to do is determine the area of the base. So I can look at my figure and I can see that it is a rectangle base. So big B is going to be represented by B times H or base times height of my rectangle, which in this case would be 5 inches times 4 inches, which gives me a base of 20 inches squared. At that point, I know that the area of that base is 20 inches squared, but I want to find the volume. So I'm going to go back to the volume formula. V equals one third area of the base times the height. I'm going to plug in the values that I know. So I know one third. I now know the area of the base is 20. And I can look at my image and my figure and see that the height is 9. Once I solve that, I can know that. 20 times 9 is 180, and one third of that is represented by 60 inches cubed, and that's because we're talking about volume. Go ahead and pause the video and try the next one on your own. Find the volume of the rectangular pyramid. So again, we're still looking at a rectangular pyramid. It looks a little bit different, but all of our parts are labeled, and so we know we're going to use the formula V equals one third area of the base times the height. I know that it's a rectangle, so I'm going to use area of the base big B equals base times height, or big B equals oops, 8 times 6, which gives me um, an area of the base of 48 centimeters squared. I'm going to go back to my volume formula, one third area of the base times the height. I can see that the area of the base I have as 48 centimeters squared, and I'm going to multiply that by the height. When I multiply all of that out, I find that the volume is 176 centimeters cubed. The next problem asks us to find the volume of the triangular pyramid. Now, this is a little bit tricky because we're also talking about both the height of the pyramid and the height of the triangle. So just remember. And at first, when we're talking about the area of the base, we're just considering the triangle right here. So let's go ahead and use our formula because it's a pyramid. And let's focus on finding the area of the base. We know that the base is a triangle, so I'm going to use a different formula for big B. This time I'm going to use one half base, times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. I can see from my, if I just focus on the base, that the base of my triangle is three, the height of my triangle is five. So that means that the area of the base is gonna be equal to seven and a half centimeters squared. I'm gonna go back to my volume formula, e equals one third area of the base times height. Can see that um, can see that my base is there. The base is seven and a half. 
and my height is 6. When I calculate that all out, I find that the volume is equal to 15 centimeters cubed. Go ahead and pause the video and try the next one on your own. So again, we see that this is a triangular pyramid. We know we're going to use our formula. We also know that our base is a triangle. So I'm going to use big B, area of the base equals one half base times height. This is where it can get a little confusing. Even when I was looking, I start, I was using one half here, and then I thought, oh, should that be one third? But remember, right now we're just focused on the triangle, which is one half base times height. So I have one half times six times nine, which gives me 27 feet squared. I'm going to go back to my volume formula. Use one third times the area of the base times the height. I see that I have one third, the area of the base is 27 feet squared, and the height of my triangle is 10. And when I do the math there, I get that the volume is 90 feet cubed. Let's look at a word problem together. Sometimes word problems offer have us do multiple steps, so we have to pay really close attention to what it's asking. Sometimes it gives us different information. This one says, at a fall festival, popcorn is served in a carton shaped like a square pyramid. The festival charges six cents per cubic inch. What is the cost of a full popcorn carton? Okay, so nowhere did it actually say that we're gonna find the volume. It never said find the volume and then do something else. It did give us a clue when it said six cents per cubic inch. Remember, when we're measuring in volume, we're always talking about inches cubed, feet cubed, cubic centimeters. Uh, the dimension is always cubed because we're talking about volume. So this is giving me a clue. I know that this is also a pyramid, and by looking at the dimensions, I can see it's a rectangular pyramid or square pyramid, whichever one you prefer. They're both correct. And so I know I'm going to use the formula B equals one third base times height. I also know, oh, it tells me a square pyramid, excuse me. I also know that it wants to know a full popcorn carton. So we need to find the volume, but then it wants to know the cost. So let's go ahead and look at it this way. We have one third, and we need to calculate the area of the base. So I'll go over here. Since it's a rectangle or a square, we'll use base times height. Six times six, which gives me 36 inches squared. I'll go back to my volume formula. Note the area of the base is 36. And the image tells me that the height is 9. So when I do the math, the volume equals 108 inches cubed. But be careful, it actually wants to know the cost of the popcorn. It doesn't really want to know the volume. So I'm going to have to take that volume and I'm going to have to multiply it times 6 cents because it's telling me that it's 6 cents per cubic inch and I have 108 inches. So when I multiply that out, out I find that I am going to spend, or excuse me, it's going to cost for $6.48 per popcorn container. Let's look at one more example. Try it. Go ahead and try this on your own. Xander has a set of toy pyramids that have a square base and measure six inches tall. The set includes four equal sized pyramids. What is the combined volume of all four pyramids? So here we have our image. It tells us about it. It also tells us they have a square base and they measure six inches tall. So we know that our height is going to be six inches. It wants to know what is the combined volume of all four pyramids. So we're going to have to find the volume of our pyramid. And then we're going to have to get our solution. And we want to multiply that by four. Okay, so we have one third the area of the base, which is going to be three times three, which is nine inches squared. We plug that into our equation. 
our height is 6. And now I know that when I do my math, that the volume is equal to 18 inches cubed. And that represents one pyramid. So we're going to have to multiply that by 4 to find out that the combined volume is 72 inches cubed. Great job finding the volume of pyramids. I'm going to show five extra questions that you can practice on your own if you need a little extra review.